Late, we want you to know that you are not alone. Joining us now to talk more about survivors' guilt is President and CEO of the Crisis Center of Tampa, Clara Reynolds. First of all, Clara, thank you so much for coming thank in this morning. Thank you for morning. the opportunity. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and it's an important topic to discuss because even though it's been a little over a year, you know, many still suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. This is, seems like something that builds over time. Absolutely, and particularly when you have anniversaries, when you have anything that can trigger taking that individual right back to that that moment in time that's something that we certainly can see in an event like this you know and we certainly see survivor's guilt and its subsequent post-traumatic stress in anyone who's experienced some sort of significant trauma event um, and so unfortunately that's what we're seeing here at, um, from the students you know we hear a lot about PTSD, you know, with military and the mm -hmm. war, but right. you don't hear often of survivor's guilt. What exactly is that? So survivor's guilt is really this misplaced feeling that you could somehow have done something to prevent what happened. Uh, maybe you should have been in the, a different place at, the, at some time. Maybe you could have done something to prevent it from happening. And so in your mind, you keep believing that you somehow could have prevented this from happening and maybe you could have saved a friend's life. And that will build over time and your brain will continue to create this scenario in your head to the point that you can become so depressed and so despondent that you do um, become almost dysfunctional. Yeah, and I think too, like when something initially is traumatic as that happens, first you're going through all these phases of mourning, maybe right. it's anger, sadness, right. but then, you know, so much time passes mm -hmm. and the survivors are still dealing with all of this. Right, and you think about the fact that there's a lot of attention that happens when it first occurs. And there's a lot of support and there's a lot of, of feeling around the community. But then you're still struggling with your feelings and other folks believe you should have moved on. Mm -hmm. Well, why aren't you moving forward? And so you feel like there's something wrong with yourself. Every one of those feelings are absolutely normal. They're absolutely what you should be feeling. And when you get to a place that it's been four, five, six, eight weeks, a month, two months, and you're still struggling, that's when it's time to reach out for help. Call 211 anytime, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, no matter where you are, to get that help and support. And we're talking about Parkland, but many, many teens and preteens deal with these emotions. Absolutely. As parents, if your child comes to you, what can we do? I think one of the most important things that we can do is validate the feelings that your child is having. Oftentimes, parents will say, you have no reason to be depressed. You have no reason to be anxious. You have no reason to be suicidal. What a child is feeling is very real to them at that moment in time. It is so important for us to validate those feelings. And as a parent, I'm a parent of a 16-year-old. If you don't know what to say, Practice with somebody, call 211, role play that situation. You never want to create a situation by which your feelings and your affect cause your teen to back out or back away from you because they sense that you're uncomfortable talking about these tough topics. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. in. We really appreciate, appreciate it. it very and much. thanks for all the, you, the work you do at the Crisis Center. Thank you so much. All right, well, as we wrap things up, we do want to give everyone two numbers. The first is the Crisis Center right here in Tampa. All you have to do is dial 211. They'll help you get the support and the services that you need. We also have the number for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. It is 1-800-273-TALK. Again, that number, 1-800-273-8255.